Do you trust me when I say that I'm trying to help you become a better banjo player? If you do, here's what I think. You're playing too fast, you're playing too much, and you might be wasting your time. If that seems a little harsh, it's only because it's something that I care about a lot, and it's something I have to tell myself all the time when I'm practicing. And when students ask me what they can do to become better banjo players, I assume they want the truth. And usually the truth is that when people learn something new, they try to play faster than they can, or they try to play everything all at once, or they ignore their mistakes and end up wasting a lot of time. So let's fix all of that, but first do me a huge favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a like. At the end of the day, more subscribers and likes and comments means that I'll be able to make more of these videos. And if you do that, then stick around to the end of the video so you can find out how to win some free banjo strings. So why is it that we try to play faster than we actually can? Maybe we're overconfident, or maybe we're just excited to play something. But whatever the reason is, playing too fast and practicing too fast basically guarantees that we're going to make mistakes, and that delays our progress. And mistakes are going to happen, but the point of practicing is to find ways to avoid these mistakes, to do things intentionally. So, if playing too fast guarantees mistakes, then that's something we should avoid. But you might also be wondering how slow to practice. Well, when I learned Kristen Scott Benson's version of Old Dangerfield, which I posted earlier this week, I started practicing it like this. I probably could have started it faster than that, but I want to be sure that I'm going to learn everything the right way. And at that speed, it's almost difficult to make a mistake. And what we really want is repetitions without mistakes. And if we can do that, then it's going to become our habit to play without mistakes. Otherwise, it's going to be my habit to make mistakes. And playing too fast is a really good way to build that habit of making the same mistakes all the time. So try practicing slowly, really slowly, as slowly as you need to, to play the thing that you're trying to play. Because we're not trying to kind of learn something, we're trying to really learn something. But obviously that's not going to solve all of our problems. We also need to be realistic about how much material we can really focus on at one time. If I want to learn a new tune, then it really doesn't make sense to play the entire tune every time I practice it. By the time I get to the end, I'll have forgotten everything from the beginning of the tune, which means I'm missing out on some really important muscle memory and auditory memory, which are two really important things that we need to maintain some of this musical information. So instead, try just working on one section at a time, or maybe just a few measures, or one measure, or even just a few notes. I promise that there's no limit to how much you can zoom in on a piece of music, and there's no shortage of benefit when you do that. In fact, something you can do to make sure you're really learning a piece of music is to start with just the first measure, and learn just the first measure. Then, when you can play that, learn the second measure. Once you can play the second measure, you can play both measures one and two back to back. You can learn an entire tune with this method, and if you do, then you'll be sure that everything you're playing is exactly what you mean to play. It's something that I do all the time, and I'll admit that it can be a little bit tedious, but that's nothing compared to how frustrating it can be to try and fail to learn something all at once. And of course, the reason we're doing all of this is that we're trying to avoid mistakes, which are really just moments where we're not really in control of what we're doing. And mistakes don't fix themselves, and they don't just go away. You have to actually do something about it. And for some people, there's a mentality of better luck next time when it comes to mistakes. Or worse, for some people, myself included, we'll ignore our mistakes, possibly because we're unwilling to accept the reality that that's really what we sound like. And you really don't want to do that. Instead, you want to look at mistakes as the best opportunity to make progress. And in that way, we're actually looking for mistakes, because it's really the only place we can go to get better. And you can actually save yourself a lot of time by doing this, because the areas where you don't make mistakes don't need as much attention, so you don't need to spend as much time playing them. But if you don't focus on the areas where you do make mistakes, then you might be wasting your time. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say you want to play a tune like Cripple Creek, but every time you get to the pull-off in measure three, you make a mistake. Maybe you miss a string, or you pull off on the wrong fret, who knows, but it's a mistake. If you just keep playing the song over and over again, then you're actually spending a pretty small amount of time, relative to the amount of time that you're playing, on the area that really needs some attention. And in terms of making progress, that's a pretty inefficient use of your time. And your time is valuable. I'm sure you don't have unlimited time to practice the banjo. And even if you did, that's a pretty unpleasant way to spend your time if you're not getting any better. So instead, spend your time on the areas that really need some attention, which are the areas where you regularly make mistakes. And again, that might be one section, or one measure, or even one note. Now, there's a few things I should mention if you found any of this troubling, and that's that there's a huge difference between playing and practicing. Playing is what you do when you just want to play, and just have fun playing music. 
but practicing is what you do when you want to get better. And you shouldn't confuse the two. Because if you're just playing when you want to get better, or you're practicing when you're trying to just have fun playing music, then you're not really going to achieve anything. I personally don't actually practice every time I pick up the banjo. Sometimes I just enjoy playing the banjo. But I do try to focus on whatever it is that I'm trying to get out of my time, because again, my time and your time is valuable. I should add that what I've explained here is not going to solve every problem that you have in music. It still takes time, and it usually takes a lot of time. But you're going to get out of it what you put in, so if you put in a lot of focused and intentional work, then I think you're going to be pleased with the results. But if what you put in is unfocused and unintentional, then I don't think it makes a lot of sense to expect much. And at the end of the day, it boils down to this. There are no shortcuts, and you can't skip any part of the process. I've never met somebody who didn't have to learn from and correct their mistakes, no matter how long it took. And some people do this with a good attitude, and some people don't. And it's not surprising who ends up being successful. Okay, so if you've made it this far in the video, then you're probably wondering how you could win some free banjo strings. And as long as you're subscribed to this channel, and you've liked this video, all you have to do is leave a comment below with what it is that you're practicing right now, and what you're finding difficult about it. For instance, I'm working on playing faster because I haven't been practicing enough lately, and I'm having a hard time keeping up at fast tempos. And congratulations to Steven Reno, who is the winner of last week's string giveaway. So if you want to be a winner like Steven, then go ahead and comment below. And if you'd like an extra practice tip for this video, then go ahead and check out patreon.com slash EliGilbertBanjo, which is where I post all the tabs and bonus practice tips and live streams and all sorts of extra content that you can't find here on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.